The more I've been using Riverside, the more I really, really like it. Now, full disclosure, Riverside is sponsoring this video. They're not telling me anything to say, so everything I'm going to share in this video, totally my thoughts. Riverside is very simple to use in terms of recording and in terms of even inviting guests on. I've done both of those. What's really impressed me are the things you can do after you've stopped the recording, the things built into Riverside. That got me thinking. So with all the cool features you get in Riverside after you finish recording, how many apps could that replace? Now, without naming the other apps, because again, Riverside is sponsoring this. They're not telling me what to say, but you know, why <laughs> make them mad? I came up with at least 12 apps that I could replace with the things I can do in Riverside. What does that do? It saves me a lot of time and it saves me a lot of money. So let me take you inside my Riverside studio and go through each of the tools that I think you could eliminate by using what you get inside Riverside. So when you're in Riverside, all you've got to do is just pick one of the videos. So we're just going to pick this one. Here's one I did in here. The first thing you're going to notice is this right here called AI Show Notes. Now, what's really cool about this is it's using AI and immediately it will read your video and it'll give you things like a summary, keywords, takeaways, titles and chapters, which is really important for YouTube. Now, another one is Magic Clips. These have already been generated, but you'll have an option here. You click it and what it does is it creates these vertical videos that you can turn around and edit. Once it loads, you'll also get all the captions on here as well. So if I were to hit play here, then you'll see the captions pop up, which are coming off of the transcription. So you could even go in and edit that if you will, change the text, but it's there. So even when you download, you've got them. Another feature is called social snapshots. If you scroll all the way down the page, you'll see it down here and they're random screenshots. I don't think you can control which one it does, but for example, if we do that, you can download it, you can share it from here. Cool little graphic that you can do a lot of different things with, maybe even take it into a different program and add something to it if you want. But that's a cool way, especially if you have guests and it's longer, to even promote your show or your video podcast or however you're using Riverside. Okay, something else it does is automatically transcribes your video. So after you've recorded something, you can click on the edit button, it will take you in here. And over on the left-hand side, it will give you a complete transcript word for word and i will have to say it's really really close to the words of everything you said what's really nice is you can edit from here so for example if i want to just cut that out right there i can hit delete and it just deleted that section so if you like the the ability to edit by transcript you can do that you can even replace a word you can tighten it up and you notice that area i cut out right there it's gone right there as well so Automatic transcripts, very nice. What if you want captions? Well, that is built in too. So you go all the way over to the right-hand side, click on captions, and you get all of these options. And there's a lot of options. So let's just say we pick this one, or this one, or this one. You see, you see what's happening. Since it's read the transcript, you can click this right here, and then if you hit play, using it more and more, I've really become a fan of it. Now you may say, but and then when you export this, the tra the uh, the captions will be with it. Now here's what's nice: you can go go in and edit it from here as well. You can move it around, so you don't even have to just use it the way it is. And again, you've got all of these options. If you don't like that, you can change that. But it's really cool because the captions are built in. They come with it. They read off the transcript. And again, you can change them. You can do anything you want in here, change the look, change the colors. It's really a cool feature. Now check this out. You go all the way up to the top to something called AI producer. And when we click on that, there's several tools in here. So set pace. So if I click on this, it will literally, if I change this, it'll tell you how much pausing it's cutting out and then it's changing it a little so right now if i go all the way to the max it's going to remove 61 pauses which actually cuts out almost 56 seconds if i click this back i can smooth out my speech and it takes out filler words and things like that or magic audio and it will enhance the audio track so under ai producer you get three completely different tools. You don't have to use them all or you can. And right beside AI producer, see this box right now, it's set to 16 by nine, but it's a resizer. So for example, I can immediately turn that to nine by 16 and I can change the captions right there. So they're not right in the middle of my face. 
I can make it square. So like if you're posting to it says LinkedIn or X, or you could even do Facebook, but it automatically changes it and it kept the caption. So if you don't, I mean, if you have captions, that's something cool as well, but check it out immediately resizing it. And then you have that to download if you want it. Now, when you're done with everything and you're ready to export, I think this is really cool. So a lot of times I'm recording in 1080p, but check this out. When you hit export, you can actually export in 4K. And that's one of the things I do a lot of just to have a better kind of, it, what it does is it upscales it to 4K, looks a little bit better. But if you like that, you can do that. So you can save a little space from recording, and still send it out in 4K and it's gonna look really, really nice. And then the other option you have here is normalizing audio levels, which just makes everything kind of the same and removing background noise as well. And all of that can be done when you export. Now, you don't have to take my word for it. You can try Riverside for yourself. I've put a link down in the description with a special code. If you use the code when you subscribe, you'll save 15% off, which is even more money that you can save. That ain't a bad deal. My name's Kevin Colby. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to keep creating because the world needs you.